In this short video, we're going to be looking at how we can do an experiment to test the effectiveness of purchase bubbles on our site. We're going to start by engaging the Storefront Visual Builder, opening up the hierarchy. In this particular site, there's only one Visual Builder container because it's actually a modified uh, Mr. T's theme. We'll go ahead and take our purchase bubble and we're going to wrap it in an experiment. We'll give the experiment a name. So, we'll set up a duration. Let's go ahead and use 30 days as a good test. We're going to optimize on transaction revenue. And what we're going to do is we're going to allow the system to shift traffic over time to the one that's winning the most. Before we start the experiment, Here's our original variation that it created automatically. And now we're going to create a second variation. We'll call this nothing. This will be variation one. And we'll give this a descriptive name. We'll call this purchase bubble. At this point, we're ready to start. So we have one experiment variation that contains the purchase bubble and one experiment variation that contains nothing. Let's go ahead and open up the experiment. Click start experiment. We'll see the experiment ID populates and then save the page. On the back end of the storefront we can see under content the experiments tab. Here we'll see the new experiment that we've created, including its goals, the time that it's going to run, the sessions will start populating, and then we can expand for more details. And as, as traffic flows through the storefront, the metrics will be graphed. You'll be able to see uh, all the details of each variation, as well as as the traffic starts to shift. This one will automatically uh, start shifting towards the winner so that by the end of the experiment, the winner will have 100% of the traffic. 